Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is David Webb. I promised I was going to do another video on how to write a book in 2020. This one for nonfiction books. Little did I realize at the time that it was going to be the very next video that I did, but I didn't want to leave those of you who are writing nonfiction in the dark. As with my other video, I'm going to be going into a high level overview on how to write a book. Each one of these points can be a whole other video in itself, and a lot of these will be. So be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to stay notified of any future videos. Writing a nonfiction book can be a lot easier and at the same time a lot harder than writing a fiction book. On one hand, in most cases, you're writing about what you already know. Whereas with a fiction book, you've got to make the story up. That said, it can be sometimes a whole lot harder because you may know too much. And oftentimes, it's harder to cut down on what you do already know than make up more of what you don't know. But hopefully this video will give you some clarity and some insight on how to write a nonfiction book. So here we go. Step one, define why you are writing this book. If you don't know why you're writing this book, you're going to lose your focus. Are you writing this book to grow your business? Are you writing this book to build an audience? Do you already have an audience and you simply want to inform them? Do you want to expound upon already existing content? Do you want to be the authority on a particular subject? There are a thousand reasons to write a nonfiction book and you need to identify why you're writing your book and write it down. Next, you want to define whom you're writing the book for. This also applies in fiction books, but I believe it's more important for nonfiction, at least in the writing stage. With fiction books, it comes into play more with publishing. You want to define long-term whom your target audience is. But when you're writing nonfiction, it's going to help you focus your book even more. You're going to go into every chapter knowing who's going to read this book and what kind of information they're going to benefit most from. A lot of writers make the mistake of trying to write the book for everyone. And I can't stress enough how big of a mistake that is. The more people you try to hit with your writing, the fewer people you will. It's one of the first rules of marketing. Find a niche and then write to that niche. Niche? Niche. You want to find out how to write to that niche. That just feels weird. It's one of the words that you just never say out loud. <laughs> Niche in American English and niche in British English. Got it. <laughs> wow, talk about derailment. Where was I? <laughs> the more defined your niche is, the more defined your writing is going to get. The more customized content that you're actually going to write. The more people will appreciate what you're actually writing because it will speak to them on a deeper level. Once you know why you're writing and whom you're writing for, you can take those together and write a really powerful book. Do you want to write to more people? Write another book. Next, you want to identify the problem that you're trying to solve. All great businesses are built off of solving problems. You don't want to pay for a taxi? Take an Uber. You don't want to walk through the grocery store? Use ClickList. You don't want to go get Taco Bell? DoorDash. Although if you don't want to go get Taco Bell, I humbly suggest not getting Taco Bell. If you take your book and position it as solving a problem, it's going to be a more successful book. And if you teach people how to solve a problem, they'll love you for it. They'll recommend you to other people. And the bigger problem you solve, the more money you're going to make. Next, you want to do research. You may already know a lot about what you want to write about, but research will help you do a bunch of different things. First of all, if you don't know something key about the subject, this research could reveal gaps in your knowledge that you're going to want to fill before you write your book. Next, you'll get a better feel for how other authors are positioning this same subject so that you can brainstorm ideas on how to tackle this subject in a brand new way. And finally, you'll get a better feel of what kind of content people are responding to. And as an added bonus, if you're reading a book, that's going to help your writing. The more you read, the better you write. It's one of the cardinal rules of writing. Next, you're going to want a mind map. If you don't know what mind mapping is, I highly encourage you to check out the article that I'm going to link to in the description below because mind mapping is an incredibly powerful tool that will help you to take everything you know about a subject put it all down in one place, and even help you generate ideas on how to tackle different subjects in different ways. Basically, you're going to want to start with one central idea, then you're going to be branching off into individual ideas here and there, and each of those individual ideas will further branch off. Pretty soon, you'll have a huge map of what you know about a particular subject. And that's going to segue nicely into what you want to do next, which is plan your writing. I don't believe that you should pants a nonfiction book that is right by the seat of your pants. Nonfiction books need to be even more organized than fiction books. It's going to flow better with the reader. They're going to be able to find information more easily, and it'll make a whole lot more sense. That said, I highly encourage outlining it. Take what you have on your mind map and then outline it into an order that makes sense to you and hopefully the reader. 
And then you're gonna take your outline, you're gonna take the Word document or Scrivener, highly recommend Scrivener, and then just expound on each one of these points. And pretty soon, you'll have the rough draft of your book. It's that easy. And that's it guys. There's a lot more that I can say about all this. And if you have any questions about any of this, let me know. I'm gonna be taking certain aspects of this video and I'm going to be going into more detail about these in future videos. But if you have any specific questions on any of these subjects, just let me know. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay notified for future videos. Thank you again for joining me and get back to writing.